Cuisine Queens, and today we'll be making Snickerdoodles. The Snickerdoodle is basically a sugar cookie that's covered in cinnamon and sugar. Let's get started. You'll need two and three quarter cups all-purpose flour, two teaspoons baking powder, a half teaspoon coarse salt, one cup or two sticks of unsalted butter, room temperature, two large eggs, and two teaspoons ground cinnamon. Measure the cinnamon later. First, you need to preheat your oven, 350 degrees. Then, you need to sift the flour, baking powder, and salt into a bowl. All right, so the next thing you'll need to do is put the butter and sugar in the bowl of an electric mixer. Okay, so now we need to unlock our mixer and take our spatula to the sides of the bowl so we can get all of it to the bottom. Okay, now that we've got that all to the bottom, we're gonna do our next step. We need to mix in the eggs and then reduce the speed to low, gradually mixing in the flour mixture. Make sure there's no eggshells, that's why you crack it into a cup first. All right. Time to mix it. Done. Now we just need to gradually mix in the flour mixture. When it says gradually, it means don't get it all over your house. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's get started. All right, we're done. So, now let's see what it says next. So we need to make the topping for the snickerdoodles, which is Cinnamon, cinnamon and, sh and sugar. sugar. Two tablespoons sugar. Two teaspoons cinnamon. One teaspoon. And now we're done. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now with our dough and with our cinnamon sugar mixture, we are going to start making the bowls. That was cheesy. Okay. What you're gonna do next is cover your baking sheet in parchment paper. <laughs> so the next step is you're going to use, we're just using an ice cream scoop. So you're going to ball it up, then roll it into the cinnamon and sugar, and then put it on the plate. <laughs> okay, now we're done. We just need to put these in the oven. We might want to wash our hands. Put them in for five minutes, then rotate them, then put them in for another five minutes. Oh, I know what we can do. We can make another batch. Now it's time to rotate them. Just turn the tray. Then reset your timer for another five minutes. All right, let's finish these. Whoa, that we was did that fast. fast. Get that cool and racks for when your cookies are done. While you're waiting, just clean up the kitchen. Thanks for watching. Comment down below what you think we should make next. Bye! Bye.